We're entering a new era of action cameras, where they either have phenomenal electronic stabilization or arrive like that with a gimbal, or both. Here's another pocket-sized device that can turn your perception about camera mobility upside down. Hi, good to see you, hope you're doing well. And another test is in progress. A little bit of wind so that we can find out how the internal microphone of this, well, action camera or pocket camera is working. And we're already doing a, a vlogging test. Uh, both audio and video are coming from the Feiyu Tech Pocket, also known by the name Vcam. I guess Vcam is going to remain the, the more popular term because already Feiyutech have a device which is pocket oriented it's another gimbal for smartphones but that's another topic so this video is going to be about that device which looks very similar to the DJI Osmo Pocket and definitely this year is going to be very interesting about how action cameras are going to further develop because in my opinion every GoPro like design is going to be very soon outdated and slowly replaced by these little buddies which do outstanding job. Now, quick business card about Feiyutech. Uh, if you have ever used mechanical stabilization for a camera or a smartphone, most likely you know who Feiyutech are. In short, they produce some of the good stabilizers, gimbals, with cameras, smartphones, action cameras and so on. Uh, rather affordable and the Feiyu Pocket is their attempt to challenge the world of action cameras and possibly to challenge DJI's leadership over there. Now, since the company is so focused on developing gimbals, I expect nothing else but really good stabilization and performance of this camera and that's something we're about to inspect in this video. Truth is that the Feiyutex Pocket Camera is having phenomenal qualities for its price tag of around $250, feels solid and performs rather well. Packs the qualities of an action camera combined with very good mechanical stabilization, which is exactly what most peak users would be looking for. This costs around $50 more than the Fimi Palm and about $120 less than the usual price of Osmo Pocket, with the note that the DJI device has been released about a year ago. I think it makes sense to mention also the $400 GoPro Hero 8, because I can lately notice that the action camera's market is more and more challenging due to the inclusion of wide-angle lenses on smartphones, as well as the existence of these nice, cute, small, pocket-sized camera gimbals. The unboxing experience with the Feiyutech Pocket is superb. I have complained about that element regarding the Phoebe Palm, but over here it's more of a premium feeling and the whole design of the gimbal is very, very good. I'm glad that this one comes with proper protection and, unsurprisingly, the case is almost identical to the Osmo Pocket. In fact, you can place the Osmo Pocket inside the Feiyutech case and vice versa. If there was no logo on both, I would have thought that the Feiyu Pocket is something like a new generation, way more polished, the same quality feeling and texture and more futuristic camera design. Look at it, feels solid and apparently made of the right kind of materials. And that whole thing weighs only 115 grams. I immediately thought of putting it on a drone, but I guess it needs a drone with less vibrations than mine because we get strong jello effect in that case. Anyhow, it's small, lightweight, the camera compartment with the gimbal is on the top, there's a vivid and bright display with 1 or 3 inches of a size, as big as most smartwatches, a power slash mode button and only two other buttons to operate with, which are again shockingly similar to Osmo Pocket, option to add a strap and there's the USB port. Micro SD card support here is up to the phenomenal 512 gigs. Some hardware details, videos can be recorded with maximum resolution of 4K at 60 frames per second, Slow motion is up to 120 FPS in Full HD, 120 degree wide-angle lens, 1x2.5 inch image sensor, ISO up to 3200 and the built-in 875 mAh battery which will last between 3 and 4 hours of shooting. If most of these specs don't mean a thing to you, they're good, in fact very good, and this is more or less the maximum you can squeeze for that money. 
Really good bang for the buck. Oh, did I mention there's integrated Wi-Fi? A big bonus here, because with DJI Osmo, the way to connect to your phone is by using this weird USB port, and if you want wireless, you need to purchase an extra accessory. Now, few words about what the hardware cannot do. There's no H.265 support at this stage, and I have no confirmation whether it may be included as a firmware update or not. The implication is that you cannot take advantage of this newer and more optimal codec, which can keep the same video quality at lower file size. There's no mechanical joystick, which I really loved on the Fimi Palm. There only is a software slider, rather inconvenient. There's no statement about external microphone and the Wi-Fi module operates at the 2.4 range, meaning a little slow. I was having often lag when using the smartphone app. From the way that the menus are created, I can say that this gimbal is more oriented towards vloggers and people that want to quickly point and shoot dynamic environments. Very easy to operate with. The power button also acts as a mode button and you can switch between the shooting modes, video, photo, slow motion and so on. The shutter button is used for taking a video or photo and the long press results into starting the Wi-Fi. That's very useful. The mode button switches between the different stabilization settings by a single press. Tribal press is used for selfie mode and press and hold for the lock mode. In short, every typical mode that a good gimbal would have is present here too. If you prefer to operate via touchscreen, the 1.3 inch display is quite alright and you can do all that and on top check some more of the interesting menus. You can fine-tune the video and the photo settings, you can change the performance of the gimbal. In fact, we have an option for mechanical and electronically assisted stabilization, something that lately tends to be called hybrid stabilization. And I noticed that if you keep the mode quality first, you're gonna see some not so smooth scenes. If your hand is not super steady, keep that setting at stabilization priority, but keep in mind that it slightly worsens the video quality, especially in low light scenes, due to the nature of electronic stabilization. I think the menus are brilliant, navigation is super easy, makes perfect sense. There also is a pro mode. So let me blow your mind and present you yet another gimbal with log mode, ISO and share speed control. Yes, that's right, you have manual controls for each one of these components and this will certainly turn the Feiyu Pocket into a preferred device for videographers and vloggers on a budget. There should be ND filters released sometime, so you will be able to get this truly cinematic footage with very very good image quality and the so beloved buttery smooth motion blur when needed. The only area where the Osmo Pocket would win against the Feiyu Pocket is the ability to produce shallow depth of field which quantity-wise is quite insignificant due to the sensor size and often turns out to be problematic due to the autofocus issues. Nothing like that with the Feu Pocket VCam because we have fixed infinity focus and the wide-angle lens makes it really perfect for vlogging. I've tried shooting in multiple lighting scenarios and the VCam was doing pretty well. Even slow motion is rich on details. The 4K at 60 frames per second is also superb and offering nearly 120 megabits quality. In order to improve the footage while walking, make sure to practice this ninja walk. This small effort pays off big time. Thing is that stabilization is not always excellent and you're gonna be able to notice some imperfections, especially when shooting close-ups, something I very much hope to see improved with future updates. Another awesome video feature, thanks to the electronic stabilization assistance, is the hyperlapse option. With a little extra post-production efforts, it may actually look pretty good. There's also the option for RAW photos, taking such one needs a few seconds of patience and steady hands because otherwise photos are getting blurry, output is DNG, very easy to adjust with Adobe Lightroom and you can recover a very good amount of the details, shadows and some of the blown off areas. The smartphone app is also good, well not as good as DJI Mimo yet, but I'm hoping it will get there. Inside you're gonna find numerous ways to configure the camera and get the most out of your footage. Looks like the face and the smart tracking features are not enabled yet, at least for my firmware. Guess that's coming soon with another update. I really like the options to play with the panorama photos. You can get quite creative and surprise your friends with awesome looking photos. Most of them are quite Instagrammable. Speaking of which, make sure to find us on social media and check what we do in order to bring you all these reviews.
In my opinion, the pocket-sized action camera by Feiyutech is superb and nearly hits the sweet spot for optimal features and performance at the given price. The stellar build quality and the really well-grouped menus only add to the premium feeling you're gonna get. As for image quality, I'll let the files and the samples speak for themselves. From all the similar size devices I've tested, I think I like the design of this one the most. Well, maybe the firmware is still a little undercooked during the couple of weeks of using it. I did have a freeze once and also encountered this anomaly caused by too much load applied at a certain angle. Overall, the Veotech Pocket does the job to make footage smooth and was rather problem-free and also a lot of fun to use. But in my opinion, the stabilization with this early version of the firmware must be improved. And the other part, which should also get better, looks to be the smartphone app. All in all, I'm sure that this summer the VCAM by Feiyotech is definitely going to rock. As usual, I looked for a good discount for you and yeah, make sure to check the link to the product in the description below. Purchasing through these links costs nothing to you and greatly helps me to maintain the channel and create better reviews. Should you want to share with me how you find the stabilization and the overall quality, the comments are the right place. We'll be glad to carry on the conversation there. Until then, which is for a wonderful day, keep a good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye!